Michael Sazen, the Paired Wizard, and I've got Rachel and Keely here with me. And I'd like to talk to you today about parrot hearing. Um, do parrots hear? How do they hear? How's their hearing compared to humans? Do they have a particularly sensitive hearing? Those are questions that I've seen uh, being asked, so I'd like to address that a bit. And at the end, be sure to read my article on the Trained Parrot blog for all the details. So, do parrots hear? Well, do, they don't even have ears. How do they hear? Oh wait, they do, it's just not sticking out like ours. Their ears are uh, buried under feathers. So, first of all, they can't hear quite as good as us because they don't have these big radar dishes sticking out of their uh, head to help funnel the sound in. Not only that, they have feathers that actually cover their ear holes. So, that keeps the wind um, out of their ears while they're flying kind of like a microphone cover, uh, the foam on a microphone keeps the wind noise off the mic. So that helps to reduce some of the wind noise. But likewise, it also reduces some of the sound as well, so they don't get to hear quite as loud because those ears are tucked away. Not only that, uh, parrots, like all birds, have a more restricted uh, frequency response range than humans and mammals. This is the result of the fact that they only have one inner ear bone instead of the three that uh, only mammals um, evolved to uh, have. So the frequencies they can hear start at a higher pitch than what we can hear. We can hear much deeper bass sounds than they can. And on the high pitch range, we can hear high pitch sounds uh, far better uh, than parrots. Uh, parrots can't really hear very high pitch noises at all. Another thing is that uh, because of the limitations of the bird ear, uh, it takes a greater volume of sound uh, for them to hear a minimum uh, threshold. So if a, noise, if a sound is very, very quiet, we may just be able to hear it, but the parrots won't. So the amount of sound that there has to be for a parrot to be able to pick it up is actually greater than us, for us uh, humans as well. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? <coughs> Truman, yeah. Um, some people note that uh, they think parrots hear very well. I mean, they pick up sounds. They, they might hear you talking in another room and imitate those same sounds that they never even heard you say up close to them. How can they hear and be able to pick up these sounds so, from so far away if, uh, if they can't hear uh, as well as we do? Actually, it doesn't come down to hearing, really. It comes down to perception. So if we... Uh, try to listen and pay attention real close and you know, listening to the birds outside or someone talking in another room. If, if we could really pay attention and tune out everything else and pay attention to those things, we could actually hear it better than they do. However, because parrots are such vocal animals and they pick up on sounds very well, they just play, they pay great attention to this, the, these sounds and uh, they pick up things that we don't really pay attention to. We just tune it out. We don't think that this is going on when if we paid attention, we really could hear it. The most amazing thing, though, is that parrots can't experience hearing loss like humans. This is no surprise because a screaming cockatoo can scream so loud that it would actually lead to permanent hearing damage for people that are exposed to this for a continuous amount of time. However, that cockatoo is screaming very close to its own ears and uh, right into the ear of the cockatoo sitting next to it. How can they possibly be able to uh, withstand and survive such loud noises? Not only the fact that their ears are actually less sensitive than ours, and that that probably helps a little bit, but beyond that, they actually uh, are resistant to hearing loss. So the way hearing loss works in people and in mammals is that the hairs, the fine little hairs inside the ear that pick up the sound, um, get damaged over time, and they can never be repaired or replaced. So once you uh, break it, you lose it. That's it. But with parrots and uh, birds in general, they can actually regrow these hairs. So even if they get some temporary uh, short-term hearing loss, it just grows back, just like the feathers and nails and other parts of their body. So uh, parrots do not experience long-term hearing loss from loud noise. This is why they can afford to be so noisy and scream so loud without hurting themselves. So this is why you got to be careful. If you have a really loud parrot, you got to use uh, common sense precautions. You've got to uh, not put it too close to you. Don't have a screaming parrot sitting on your shoulder, screaming right into your ears. Um, wear earplugs if you have to. But better yet, try to use a uh, common sense training approach and parrot keeping approach 
um, to teach your parrot to be uh, more active, more busy, um, and not be screaming. Follow the Parrot Wizard's Guide to Well-Behaved Parrots to learn how to teach your parrot a lifestyle that keeps it more quiet and tame. Get a foraging box to uh, stuff it with your parrot's favorite treats to keep that beak busy and chewing. When that beak is busy chewing and enjoying uh, the treats and ripping up the foraging box, that's time that it can't be screaming. I I've posted graphs and greater details on this topic in this uh, trained parrot article post. Visit trainedparrot.com slash parrot underscore hearing to read the full details. And you can uh, check out the Parrot Wizard's Guide to Well-Behaved Parrots book, the foraging box, training perches, and all of my great Parrot Wizard supplies at parrotwizard.com. Mm -hmm.